Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So yesterday was Father's Day. Um, I personally had a really good Father's Day because my father was in town. Um, as some of you guys know, um, it was also my cousin's wedding. So we were there for the wedding and we had an awesome time. Um, but I noticed that one family did not have such a good Father's Day and they're currently going viral all over Twitter. Everybody's talking about this. So I want to go ahead and talk about the situation that is going down with Kamora Lee Simmons, Russell Simmons, and both of his daughters. So if you guys do not know, what happened is that yesterday, Russell's oldest daughter, her name is Ming Simmons, Ming took to her Instagram stories and she basically posted a picture of her and her mom walking down the baby fat runway and she titled it Happy Father's Day and she added Kamora Lee Simmons. And so that is when the shit hit the fan. So Russell then took to social media and he wrote the following. He says, stop telling fathers they should have fought harder to see their children and start asking mothers why he had to fight at all. Then he also went on to post, the father you have is the perfect father for the evolution of your soul and the lessons that you needed in this lifetime. So that is what he posted. And so, you know, people were really kind of shocked at this back and forth. And then Kamora Lee ended up going to social media and she went off. So Kamora Lee says, I'm so sorry I have to do this, but this man has been threatening my kids' lives. I'm hearing so much more now. We won't be bullied, threatened, or afraid. Who give a fuck? So after she posted that on social media, she ended up going onto Instagram and she went in. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch what Kamora Lee had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm very transparent in the fact that, in the sense that, you know, again, people know me. You guys know me. I, some of you have never met me. You've grown up with me. You've seen my shows. You've seen my work. You wear my clothes. Um, others of you know me very well. You know me personally. You know my kids. You know my exes. You know the dads. A lot of people here um, know both of us, you know, and they know he's wrong. All the friends have said, this is wrong. This is crazy. We don't understand it, but they still support him. I feel like it's one of those things where he's just like a big, bigger than life kind of, you know, uh, powerhouse. And so he just kind of turns and manipulates the press and people and to believe, you know, anything like you, like gaslighting, you know, like that didn't happen. I didn't do that to you. Uh, I didn't do those things to you. I didn't, you know, you're imagining things. How many countless women have said this, have been told this, I should say, or would say this to you? Myself and my two girls who are adults included, you know, you guys didn't just start to see my kids. We didn't just go through a divorce. We went through this divorce, I don't know, 20 years ago. 20 some odd years ago. So this is not a situation. Again, you can get receipts. You can go see where they say like, oh, kids been brainwashed. But we've been fine up until these past several years. So, you know, what happened? All of a sudden now the kids are brainwashed. All of a sudden now these young women who are grown women are babies. You know, you they, they have their own relationship with you. You have their, your own non-existent relationship with them. I'm just asking that you please leave us alone. You know, I've tried to go to lawyers and get help. I've tried to show all the crazy texts I've had to block. Like, you do crazy shit, like send pic, pic, flowers to yourself and take a picture and send, post it on the gram and tell everybody I sent you flowers. Again, I have receipts of all of this. I have receipts from your office saying that you sent flowers to yourself without my permission. I have all of this. You guys have never seen it because it just doesn't wore it you know it doesn't rise to that occasion i mind my own business but please don't attack my children they've been through so much um don't attack my my 
family, which is supposed to be your family too. Don't do that because you're, you know, you're at rock bottom. You, I don't know. Hypothetically, you're at rock bottom. You've hit the bottom. I don't know. You're grasping at straws. I don't know if this is a money grab. I don't really know what this is. I think it's probably all of the above. I have to say, I think, and allegedly, and all these things, just so I can be, you know, right in saying, like, my feelings and how I feel, what I think. Um, But I I met this person when I was um, in high school in St. Louis, Missouri. I was modeling. I was... 16 years old like I've known you and everybody knows again that's documented you can see um I believe I was maybe a sophomore I know it was before junior prom and senior prom because I went to both of those proms alone with my friends when I was dating them so it was definitely long before junior and senior prom I think it was around sophomore year of high school. And again, everybody knows this in my life. You know, they know they was walking around, they see me. The point of it is I've known you a long time and I've seen lots of stuff and I just choose to not go there. Um, lots of things that I could say over the time, you know, I'm typically the one that he and others would call to have their back, right? I'm the, I'm the one that they would call to Um, solidify everything, to validate everything. If you always look, whenever they get into trouble, they always want to hop up on the live and do a half screen with me. Again, this was years ago because we don't speak now. But, you know, I'm always the one that kind of puts out the fire. I'm also the one that always runs to the defense of all my friends. So if you see uh, any other women, certainly women that I've come up with, certainly women that are are mothers of my children, other of my kids that I love, I come to their defense. So if they're down and out or something's wrong. Yeah, you're always going to see Kimora, big mouth me, running up to the gate, running up to help. And you know why? It's because I feel like I'm the one that can't be bowled over. Some of these other people can be bowled over. A lot of my women, you know, friends and other moms, they've gone through things. I've lost friends of mine. People have passed on. You know, I've been through a lot. And I've seen where women... A lot of times just don't get their just due. They don't get support. They don't have anything to show for their life and their contributions because they depended on a man. I am not that. I'm one of the one, the few. I'm one of the few. And there's a handful. All right. So you guys just saw what Kamora Lee had to say about the situation. So while she was talking, Aoki was in the comment section commenting as well. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Aoki was saying. She says, I have phone tapes of him threatening me. It's not okay. He's literally ruining my life. She also goes on to say, nobody relies on him. He's flat broke and won't even get me an Uber at night if I'm unsafe. He says, take the subway. Good luck. Then she says, we try to keep it private. He literally taunts and bullies us every day. Then she says, I'm going to have to block him. And then she's talking to somebody named Grace, and she says, Grace, shut up. He's literally in my phone talking to me about my mother and sister. You duck off. So people were shocked when she was in the comments section basically going off on her father. People were really surprised. So then after that, Aoki decided to go on social media, and she started posting the following. She posted this in her stories, and she's having a conversation with her dad. And she says, no child should have to live like this. No one's child. This is abuse. Not okay. The threats, not okay. The fear mongering, not okay. And then she posted this text message. Dad, I stopped talking to you because you were giving me panic attacks to the point I was placed on emergency medication every time we spoke. I cannot have a relationship with you until that stops. No one stops me from talking to you. My health does. I have to put that first. Every time I spoke to you, you would yell and scream about a legal situation that I can't even respond to because I'm not involved. I am your child, not your lawyer, not your ex-wife or any of it. I can do nothing, yet you yell at me like it's my fault. You were putting so much anger and rage on every phone call, cursing, screaming, and God knows what else. I'm sorry, but I cannot be the target of that. It's unfair. It got to the point 
I cannot hear your voice without having an anxiety attack. You have the least respect. In fact, I'm putting my health and well-being first. Then she says, you put us all in just why I'm out here praying for you and hoping everything goes well. And you call my mother a piece of shit. And then um, Russell replies back. He says, neutral my ass. I don't even appear in your media. Your mother has stolen my money and the love of my kids. As she promised, she actually is. Then Aoki writes, you will never see me again. I'll never speak to you until you die. Don't ever say that again. She did not steal it. You lost it. He replies back. He says, she's a piece of shit. And then Aoki says, understand you lost it with your action. Now on top of this, she wrote this on the note. She wrote this on top of the screenshot. It says, I've had enough. I know I may lose jobs or whatever. I don't even know. I was always daddy's girl. You can see that in any picture, but he's been awful to me for years. And that's just the truth. Then she goes on to post this video of Russell yelling and screaming. It is just frightening. Um, I don't really know what he's yelling. I don't read lips, but you can tell he's very angry. Say so Aoki says, this is not someone who will accept help. This is just one screen recording. Sorry, I don't always remember to press record when he calls my friends, my boyfriend, anyone to get a chance to threaten and curse or just go crazy. So there's no audio, but you can tell that he's clearly pissed. So then she goes on to post this. She says, some of us do think he's mentally ill or experiencing something like dementia. He really acts like he hates and does not know his children frequently. Prior to his media issues, he was really the best dad ever and a great co-parent. He and my mom were best friends. We all defended him against anything. Then he suddenly turned on anyone who would let him lash out. It's really just terrifying change to watch. So then after that, Russell Simmons posts a message from Vanessa Simmons, who is Reverend Run's daughter. And that message says, happy Father's Day. Love you so much. Hope to see you soon. So that was from Vanessa Simmons. So then after that, Aoki went on live and she basically went off. She was crying. She was very upset. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys that video right now. No, please stop with the bullshit about I hope you find peace and privacy and this is venting. I have been dealing with this my whole life. This is not new. It's not new drama. I'm in college. I just got to New York. I might not even have a job now. I don't fucking know. That will maybe downfalls, you know, I guess if the name helped you get the job, I help you lose the job. I don't fucking know. But I just feel like I did everything with so much patience and it's like <laughs> But you're not gonna text me over and over calling my mom this and that and, and calling my sister this and that and sending people to threaten my sister. He sent someone to threaten my sister at her house. You know my sister's a nice person. She's a, a quiet person. Ming would never do this. He sent someone in the middle of the night to, like, take her some papers to, like, sign away her inheritance or whatever. And then she was like, should I be signing this? And I was like, what? He, like, sends people to threaten her. And you know Ming is a calm person. No, please stop with the bullshit about I hope you... Everyone you work with, I have not done anything to him. Anything he says that we've done is like, they didn't call me when I said call. They didn't post a picture of me on Instagram for my birthday. Like, we have done nothing but go to school and stay out of grown folks' business and let worry about this over here. And it's my dad who, if you unblock him for two seconds, he starts telling you what a cunt your mother is. And now she's going to jail, and she's an illegal person, and she's the worst, and he can't wait to watch her go to jail and die. And, like, any time you unblock him for two seconds, at one point he lies that he had COVID. And so we called him, like, all right, you know, this is serious. Are you okay? And he's like, no, nah, I just faked that to tell you your mother's a piece of shit. And we're like, all right, good morning. You're 70. Like, grow up. <laughs> and I never wanted to do this because I'm like, all right, so you guys just saw what Aoki had to say. So like I said, they have been trending all day on social media. This entire situation is very disturbing. One thing I will say is this, as you guys know, I've been following Aoki Simmons, I'm talking about for years, since she was in high school. Um, I remember her getting accepted into Harvard. She's a very, very smart girl, beautiful, very unproblematic. One thing about both of these girls, Ming and Aoki, you don't hear anything bad about them. You don't hear about them being in trouble, you know, falling through, 
falling through the same traps as a lot of other, you know, celebrity children. You never hear that about these two young girls. And I always said that that was a testament to, you know, how they were raised to both of their parents. Um, and initially, you know, I was a Russell Simmons fan. You know, he came off like he was calm and, you know, all into yoga and peace. But then when those allegations came out and it showed another side of him, that's when me personally, I started giving him the side eye. And that's when, as you guys know, I've called him out several times. You know, Mr. You know, Uncle Rush card, yoga, yoga, hum, hum, hum. You know, he tries to come off like he's really peaceful and he's just all about love and light. But as soon as those allegations came out, he literally ran to Bali. He put himself on a, on a self-exposed exile to Bali and has not been back to the United States since. When he does happen to creep back in, um, which is very rarely, he will creep in and he creeps right back out. So my thing is, if he's innocent of all these allegations that have come against him over the years, then why not face his accusers? Why go to a country where they don't do extradition? So once I peeped his game, I was off Russell. And I have been calling him out for years. You know, everything from his rush card to him dating Kimora Lee Simmons. He got with her when she was 17 and he was 35. You know, a lot of people trying to, you know, ignore that and sweep that under the rug. But the more you dig into his past, he's definitely a shady character. Um, like I said, I've never known Aoki to be this upset where she's online crying, you know, and, and upset and hurt. And, you know, it's one thing for her to be dealing with bullying or trolls. But the fact that she's going through all of this family drama, it's really sad. I'm going to need Rev Run, okay, to hop up out that bathtub, quit texting, and go see about his nieces. Figure out what is going on, you know, try and, you know, get back this family on the right track. Because this entire situation is really sad to watch. And it seems like the reason all of this drama came to be. So if you guys remember back in 2018, Kamora Lee, um, Russell Simmons and Kamora Lee's now ex-husband, Tim Lesnar, who was supposedly a billionaire, um, they were basically sued by Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons had alleged that they had stole four million shares from him from their stock portfolio. And so, you know, he took them to court. And then in November of 2022, um, basically, he lost the court case. He was ordered to pay Kamora Lee Simmons over a hundred thousand dollars. And that also includes like her lawyer fees and all this stuff. So it seems like ever since then, he got really, really pissed because he thought he was going to get some of that money. Now, um, Mr. Lesnar, uh, he's basically pled guilty to like bank fraud and all types of stuff. So he's dealing with his own criminal case. And supposedly Kamora Lee is somehow being attached to that as well. But it seems like all of this drama came out once he lost the case and was told to pay 100 k That's when he started really lashing out, it looks like, behind the scenes at his daughters and accusing them of picking sides and everything else. And he's really upset at Kamora Lee. But my thing is, he brought on the lawsuit. So that is on him. What this is showing me is that a lot of these celebs right now are really struggling. They're not living that trife life. You know, a lot of the money that they once were making is gone. And I feel like in a way, because he raised his daughters, you know, they were spoiled. They had the best of everything. They never wanted for anything. And now because that money's not coming in, he's cutting them off. And maybe he even has some resentment towards them because they've been able to live this soft life. They've never really had to get it out the mud. Um, you know, their name alone, they're Simmons. So that name alone opens doors for them in the modeling world. They're both beautiful girls. They're both very tall. So they definitely, you know, have the model genes from their mother. But that last name definitely helps. And it seems that, you know, maybe Uncle Rush Card is regretting that and he's feeling away. And so now he's cut these girls off. But it's one thing to cut them off. But it's another thing to be sending them threats and disrespecting them and, you know, coming at them because you're upset at the mother. And the reason why he's upset is because he lost that case. That's what all of this boils down to. And I think these girls are finally at their wit's end. And when Ming Lee posted that, that was, you know, her showing her father, like, I'm done. I'm over all this. I'm over the narcissistic abuse. I'm over the drama. You know, I consider my mother my father at this point. And I think, you know, once he saw that, he got very, very upset and a lot of people are saying, well, you know, these people are rich. Who cares? These are just some spoiled little girls. But again, 
I've never seen either one of these girls involved in any mess. So for Aoki to be this upset and, and hurt and crying, you know, I take that personally because I've been following her for years. And she's just a very smart, beautiful, articulate girl. And it's really sad that she's been suffering in silence like this. And I think part of the issue that people are not, you know, understanding is that publicly, Mr. Yoga Yoga Ho Hum Hum is sitting here acting one way and acting like everything is peaceful and serene and he's posting these pictures of the family and making all these false narratives when it's not true. According to Kimura and um, according to Kimura and Aoki, he's just making up falsehoods. He's lying and making it seem like everything's so peaceful and they have this wonderful relationship and, you know, this father-daughter bond, and that's not what's happening. So I think that's another issue that they're having is that he's portraying himself one way to the public, but behind the scenes, he's literally a terror. So this entire situation is just insane. It just shows that basically, you know, the older that Russell Simmons gets, the more his mask has fallen off and people are seeing who he is. All that love and light and, you know, peace be on to you. You know, like I said, I've been seen through the facade for a few years now. That's why I've been calling him out. But now to see that basically everything I suspected about Russell Simmons was true via what his daughter and his ex-wife are saying, it says a lot. You know, and I just think it's sad. If he was really a good father and he really did what he needed to do and he kept his kids out of their drama, because again, this is between him and his ex-wife, then there'd be no issues right now with his daughters. The fact that he took out a lot of his anger and animosity and frustration out on his daughters who have nothing to do with their financial situation says a lot about Russell. So this entire situation is messy and unfortunate. But I want to know y'all's thoughts on this. What do you guys think about this whole situation? Do you feel bad for Aoki? Do you feel bad for Kimura? Or do you feel like they need to suck it up and move on? And how do you feel about Russell Simmons? Like, do you feel like his persona, his, you know, his mask is now slipping and people are starting to see him for the narcissist that he is? And then how do you feel about Ming posting, you know, what kind of started the drama, which was her posting, you know, happy Father's Day to her mother instead of to her father? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Feel free to share the video. Don't forget to like the video. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.